What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Grey's Anatomy, Season 5, Episode 14. Let's jump into it. Ow! Any first-year med student knows that an increased heart rate is a sign of trouble. All day stuck with Stevens. Why are we in the clinic? I thought we were supposed to be surgeons. But today we're I don't not. Really Today's care gonna for be her. about flu shots and enemas. Ah! Morning. A racing heart could indicate anything. You were saying? From a panic disorder. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, I'll, I'll leave. No. I'll leave. No. You've been here all night. How do you know that I've been here all night? To something much. I just knew it. Much more serious. Y'all, the tension. The tension, child. <sighs> the the tension. Shows off the back of your neck. I like the back of your neck. I like the back of your neck. Okay. A heart that flutters. Ah! Or one that skips a beat. I thought you were uh, sleeping. No, Hunt was in the on-call room. You had dirty sex with Owen Hunt? No, it, I don't know what it is. Could be a love. sign of a secret affliction. Hey, Making love. It's great. <laughs> it's funny. Even with no sex allowed. I mean, we, we just laugh and we, we talk. I don't want to hear this. Come on, uh. you have to. Alone people don't like to hear about the together people, okay? Even if the alone people are alone by choice. Sort of like bringing a six-pack to an AA meeting. But Keep yeah. it to yourself. I am. Uh, I need a favor. My mother's journal, her ninth journal. I need you to pre-read it for me. My mother had an affair with the chief. Your mother had an affair with her chief resident? Not her chief. Our chief. Oh, yeah, you'll go blind reading that. Or <laughs> it could indicate <laughs> romance, which is the biggest trouble of all. What is that? What do you think it is? It's dangerous. People who carry guns are more likely to fire them. Oh, I'm ready to fire it. I have to fire at the right time, the right way. Otherwise, she'll panic and bolt. You don't know. You shouldn't do anything until you do know. Dr. Sloan? Dr. Hunt. Oh, let's make this quick. Oh, he's still walking. I forgot. I forgot about his broken wanka. So we good to go? Yep. Need to use it wisely. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on with you and Mark Slow? What? Why? No, why? Why? What did you think is was? You've been on his service for over a week. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really interested in plastics. Somebody help us, please! Yeah. I ran him over with the car. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna be fine. Uh -oh. oh my god, it's my brain. It's my stupid pregnant brain. I left the car and drive. He's got an inferior shoulder dislocation and some associated fracture. Her BP is 170 over 100. Give her five of hydrolysing. Oh my Dude. god. Calm down. How's the baby? Pressing right in my bladder. I'll look on the bright side. At least uh, she's not running you over with a truck. <laughs> hey, you went on the SUV, right? Pregnancy induced hypertension. Yeah, I have to get her BP down before it starts affecting the baby. Nice couple. We love cute kids. Yeah, not as cute as ours. What? Nothing. It's been three days. I know I'm behind, but- Bailey. Jackson Prescott was not an easy case. I okay, don't frankly, begrudge you that. sir, no need to worry, okay? I, I will catch up and I'll- I'm not worrying. <laughs> I'm promoting you. Oh. I need another attendant in general surgery. I'm submitting to the board that it be you. Yay! And then it starts this July, the minute you've completed your residency. This is subject to board approval, Bailey, so I'm not worried. You have less to say now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I love her. Dr. Dixon is not big on eye contact. Also try to avoid physical contact, uh, louder disruptive noises. She's okay, right? You can ask for a better surgeon. I'm only telling you so you'll be better prepared. This is uh, Dan and Lisa Paula. I need to see the patient. Where's the patient? Hi. She's suffering from secondary pulmonary hypertension due to... Oh, no. no. Hi, can I help you folks? Not him. What's the trouble? Not him either. Oh, uh, thank you. We'll wait. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Could you help us, please? I would just... We need to talk to a grown-up. This is the chief of surgery. We tried something uh, new. Something slipped and we lost this. Rachel. We were reading this thing in a magazine. Oh, here. 20 techniques to reignite your nights. We did number nine. Um, let's get you in a gown. Him, he did number nine. We did number nine. But I'm not the one with it stuck inside me. It's him, he's the patient. Have a seat and we'll take care of you. Uh, I'll stand. <laughs> Karev. You're taking him now for surgery? Yeah, it's a good thing. Her last BP was still up 162 over 102. So okay, well, funny. was worried about placental blood flow. Cheeseburgers and painkillers are working. Is there anything else that I can get you? Um, I'm okay. She's on this show that I used to watch mm, called Younger. Cheeseburgers. She's um, more relaxed when she eats. Cheeseburgers calm her down. Daisy has a VSD, which has gotten worse over time and has created pulmonary hypertension. That child so much as looks like she's going to die. I'm walking out of here. 
I'll be performing a transcatheter closure to repair the defect in the septum. I, she was just saying that we're going to fix the part of your heart that pumps the blood to your lungs. But a full midline sternotomy incision may be required. Yeah, now she's just making stuff up. Okay. Oh, I like your socks. Thanks. They're very soccer. When you fix my heart, how soon will I be able to play soccer again? Well, I have to see. Ah, Christina. I don't, you tell about I don't like seeing kids go through stuff. Makes oh, me sad. I'm gonna do a big thing. Are you like some big romantic? And retreat? I don't even like kids that, that much. Well, she built the house with candles. Yeah, for you. How is it? Is it gross? Are they naked? Oh. <laughs> no, not yet. It's kind of um, hot. Like it, uh, chastely hot. All stolen glasses and loaded exchanges. The thing reads like a Victorian romance novel. Chase is good. I'll let you know when they do it. Oh. Ah. Uh. Said a thing about How babies. beautiful. And the babies were a totally ordinary idea. What are you going to do with it? Do what? Shepard's proposing. Outstanding! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to do it? I don't know. She's just going to tell everybody now. You need advice, huh? You ever proposed before? Uh, sorry. <clears throat> so what do you use, like a twist drill for that? Oh, not if you don't want a partial parietal hematoma. <laughs> Hi. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, just don't tell anybody else, okay? I thought I could trust you. Of course you can trust me. This case. Quit laughing. How's it gonna, gonna feel when he finds out that you're boinking? The patient can see you giggling well, right. here like schoolgirls. Enough wisecracks. Cracks. What's so funny? Sorry, sir. These idiots were screwing around and I kind of got uh, sucked into it. <laughs> Enough. If you children need a lesson in professionalism, then come and see how it's done. Your biplane abdominal radiograph show a foreign body. We'll perform sigmoidoscopy and then proceed with manual extraction. You'll get it out. No, we'll get it out. That is the what third is time. It? What's the problem? She can't find a vein, and she's bogeying me like I'm her needlepoint. <sighs> Look, when you have a good vein, it should feel bouncy. Okay, now go in at an angle. Not at 90 degrees. Yeah, yeah, like that. Good. Next time, she'll do it on you. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you run them both? Listen up, you guys. Before you run any more procedures today, come see me first. So, clean bill of health from Hunt. You gonna get back on the horse then? No, that's not gonna work out. Things have changed. I think I'm gonna have to break up with her. What is wrong with you? What? Sorry, I had to make sure the patient's wife is stable. She's hypertensive, and I think this surgery is more stressful on her than it is on him. Damn it. This clavicle fracture is jetting into the artery. Gray, hold this clamp. I got this. I'll hold pressure. The subclavian's bleeding out. They're paging Dr. Hunt. Mm. It doesn't look good. Okay, thanks. What'd they say? It's taking a little longer than than expected. But but don't don't worry because I, it's going great. It's good when they take their time. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hey, your pressure is way down. Jen? What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on with her? She's tamponading. Her BP's crashed and she has a full heart sounds. Sweetie, you're gonna be all right, okay? Don't worry, 18 gauge. Lisa, you're gonna wanna uh, turn around or leave. You're not gonna wanna watch this. Keep the ultrasound over the effusion. Here we go. Oh, her pulmonary pressures are high. You're right, she's got core pulmonary. I'm moving up her surgery. Yang's getting an OR now. Great save, Dr. Bailey. I think you better stay. I'm not scrubbing in on this one. You can handle the surgery. Yeah, I can handle the surgery. Feeling another child slipping away right in front of me. Jackson was a special case, and, and even he survived. She must have skin of his But teeth. he survived. Children are resilient, and in all likelihood, you're gonna open up this girl's chest and fix something simple, and then you're gonna hand her back the rest of her life. I'm telling you, Bailey, you wanna be there for that. Oh, God, I hope so. Come on, come on, come on, stabilize. VP's going up. Going up. Thank you. Yep, should be good to go. Dr. Gray, Jen Harmon, tell Jen he's stable. She's not. She had a seizure. We got him, Gray. Go help her. Mm. You're an idiot. <laughs> Excuse me. What is your problem? He is proposing to her. That makes little her Stop his little sister. Telling and everyone. Young, and I'm her boss. And I'm celibate. Don't spend all your time wondering what you are or, or, or who you like or whether it's right for you or wrong for you. Just let yourself be happy, okay, before you find yourself alone. Oh, you'll she really find needed someone. She needed chest x-ray? She's got the flu. Say that after you've ruled out pneumonia. Now be quick and efficient. Keep a smile on your face and make stupid, happy small talk to keep them distracted and not panicky. Okay, should I do small talk now? No. Tell me to lie still and take a deep breath. Okay, big breath in. 
and then don't move. How are you going to do it? Are you going to go big, a uh, grand, a uh, romantic gesture? Um, I don't know yet, Chief. I'm not sure that Mary's a grand gesture kind of girl. Well, you want to do the grand gesture. You've got to go all out. Hi. Ah. Um, What's up? I need a neural consult. That's be you, you, you better go. Thanks, Chief. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How are we doing, Mr. Kramer? Oh, fantastic. They didn't cover this in the What to Expect books. That's what we're going to do an exam, okay? I need you to look down for me. Oh, what is that? Oh, um, Dr. Gray, could you uh, set up an MRI for Mrs. Arnold, please, right now? But did you see... Now, Dr. Gray. Okay. Oh, you, you saw something. No, no, no. Can you keep a secret? You bet I can. This is intended for Dr. Gray. Oh, my God, and I almost blew it. Mm. When are you going to do it? Today? Do it here. No, I, I don't know. Don't oh, tell well, Lexi. Brad proposed to me in a supermarket aisle. He said that was the place he saw me. I said yes between the cat food and the tampons. Oh, we still have to do the MRI. Okay, just to be safe. Dr. Shepard? Yes. Should I be scared? No. Should I? No. Can it be repaired? Is it, is it too far gone? Children are resilient, yay. Nine times out of ten, he'll find something simple to fix. I can repair the VSD, but this heart is finished. This is one of the most diseased hearts I've ever seen. ECMO might hold her over, but without a heart-lung transplant, she's going to die. Dr. Bailey? Dr. Bailey. Dr. Bailey. Dr. Bailey. It's okay, Dr. Dixon. I can take care of this. No! Her heart is too far gone. We have started her on IV medications, which she will need on a continuous basis. Uh, how long does she... Until she can receive a transplant. Months? Years, possibly. Years? She'll lay in a bed for years? <laughs> I'm afraid so, yes. Where's Dr. Bailey gone? You want to take narrow slices so you get a more comprehensive look. What do you see? I see expensive tests for no reason, a chief finding out and expelling the crazy person. I see joblessness, homelessness, and depression. Somebody kicked Dr. O'Malley out of the booth. <laughs> yeah, have you seen Bailey? He's gonna try it. No, but I have to talk to you. Derek is going crazy. This morning I said something about having cute babies, and now ever since he's been acting weird, I mean, he wants babies. He's always wanted babies. Maybe he just doesn't want my babies. No, that that's not it. Yeah, because my babies will have Alzheimer's. Yeah, <laughs> you might have something there. No, I really don't think you do, though. Who are you? I'm Jen. How we doing? You all set? Look, if you're gonna do it, do it soon. She's really freaking out. Thank you. They tried number nine. <laughs> Who does nine? Well, personally, I'm a fan of five. What is seven, it? Eight. Pretty much 12 through 20. <laughs> <laughs> I would try 15. Don't, don't try 15. I would try 16. You'd try 16? Mm hmm I totally would. <laughs> um, don't do 16 too fast. It can, you get hurt badly. I'm hurt. Do you know who likes a good 12? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, you're on call today? Looks like it. You? Ah, putting the hair up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you're saying if she misses even one dose of her medicine, that would be bad? It would be fatal. So she'll live in a hospital bed for years, you uh, say? No, no, there's another way. There's a way she won't have to stay in the bed. Pretend the girl needs a backpack. Mm -hmm. A backpack. It has a portable pump and allow her to play and go to school uh, until she gets her new heart. This is something that we should have discussed uh, privately earlier. Oh, my God, Dr. Bailey, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I mean, they did tell y'all in the moment, I'm sure it's oh, hard to remember Dixon. everything. Oh, wh what can I do? How can I help? You can observe protocol, and I was getting to that option, but there was too much. There was just too, too much touching. Too much. Okay, um, then I'll leave you alone. No, no. I don't need alone. I need pressure. I need my nervous system suppressed. I need constant, deep pressure across large areas of my body. I need you to hold me. I need you. Tight, 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 tighter. You're a very tiny person. <laughs> I need a bigger person, I need more. Oh, what, what can I do? Uh, get over here and hug on Dr. Dixon. I was thinking more like a shot of Thorazine. <laughs> Christina is like the <laughs> least huggy. <laughs> An aneurysm, a brain aneurysm. All of your symptoms can all be associated with pregnancy. The only reason we discovered yours is because of the seizure. You said you can you can fix it? We'll do it first thing in the morning after Rob's recovered from the complications with his surgery. Complications? Wait, what? You said it was fine. You said he was okay. I, you lied to me? I didn't want to worry you until I knew. And, and he's fine. And you'll be fine, too. You just told me there's a time bomb in my head. I promise you that I'm not going to stay calm. <laughs> 
Cows are squeezed tightly in a chute before they're slaughtered. Oh my God. The chute applies intense pressure, resulting in decreased pulse rate, metabolic rate, and muscle tone. It calms them down. This is good. It's working. Oh, so we can stop that? No. <laughs> Almost there, uh, Mr. Kramer. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. Never again will I try to spice things up. I'm not spicing anything up. Anything above number five deserves props. Sounds to me like you're doing pretty good. Get together. Both bending over backwards to find new ways to make each other happy. Take a step back, you'll realize that you're doing just fine. <laughs> bending over backwards. <laughs> Christina. You can let me go now. You can let me go now. Sorry. Dr. Stevens, I have the blood test results. What is it? Well, you're anemic. Uh, anemic? Oh, my God. Do you realize what you just did? Your face said I was going to die, not go get a hamburger. I just anemic. Anemic. Told... This is fine. This is no big deal. It's like nothing. <sighs> How's Mrs. What's her name? That's not good, is it? Yeah, no. Her LDH is off the charts. What is it? Is it, is it cancer? Consult oncology, start a workup. It's, it's okay. We'll tell her together. Thank you. That sucks. I, oh, that smile. I'm gonna keep secrets. Huh? I've been keeping secrets all day about surgeries and rings and, and you. And that secret, the, the, the you secret, it's giving me high blood pressure. And I, I, don't, I don't want that secret. We're having a relationship. And if we are, if we're in a relationship, then I need to be in it in front of my sister and Derek Shepard. If we can't do that, then I can't do this. Oh, shit. Uh, you two. This is love. That's a love piano. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Who's that? Wifey? You got a wife? What's going on? You're shaking. Wait, wait, wait. I saw someone, someone I knew I can't do this. I can't just. Oh, okay, it's, it's all right. No, no, I don't want this. I don't want okay, this. I, no. I'm applying deep pressure here. I can't do to this relax, now. To relax, decrease your metabolic rate. You will feel more panic at first. So you'll try to resist it, but eventually you will feel your pulse rate slow. It's okay. Your breath will come easier. Okay, your breath will come easier. <gasps> Sorry what is my going outburst. on? I Who was that? Should have spoken to you first. Pediatric surgeons always breaking protocol. I'm not a pediatric surgeon. You touch the child whenever you speak with her. You explain conditions and you react to the patient as if it was your own child. You are not a general surgeon. You're a pediatric surgeon. Um, did you eat? Let me change. I'll come with you. No, no, no. Okay, you have been acting like a basket case ever since I dropped that stupid little comment about babies. If you don't want babies or you don't want babies with me and my crappy DNA, just oh. say so. Don't have to avoid me and you don't have to make up lame excuses about work. Meredith, I want your crappy babies. <laughs> you do? All of them. Okay. No. I want your crappy I, I babies. Have, I, gotta, I have to work. How romantic. Oh, how cute. Look at the bedazzled backpack. Did you use a bedazzler? Circa 1986, as seen on TV. <laughs> Dixon's right, you know. You do belong in ped surgery. My own baby almost died last year. I stood outside the room feeling so useless, so pointless and helpless, like I was losing everything in the world. And when he didn't die, see, I knew I didn't want to be anywhere near that feeling again. I think that makes me pretty unsuitable for pediatric surgery. I'd say that makes you uniquely qualified. Interesting. No, no, I'm just overthinking. I love Bailey. You think it's home? If he's not an idiot. Are you okay? Um, I don't. Derek is at. What are you doing? I don't know. I just I'm staying here. Okay. Good night. Uh, he's planning to propose. Wh what? The chief. He uh, told her he would leave oh, Adele. Oh my fucking come back god! And get on one knee and propose, but I don't think he ever did. That's sad. Is it? Or romantic? I it was seems about... we have no control whatsoever over our own hearts. 
to be so pissed if she told him that. If she told her that he was gonna do that. Hey, hey, Ortho, right? Yeah, right, hi. I'm Arizona, Robbins, Pete surgery. I've seen you at the hospital. Are you okay? You know, I'm fine. People talk where we work a lot. So for the sake of being honest, I, I think I should tell you that I know things about you because people talk. You mean? It is, actually, <laughs> the talk. People really like you over there. They, they respect you and they're concerned and interested. They really like you. Some of them really like you. <laughs> you just, you look upset. And, and I thought that you should know that the talk is good. And when you're not upset, when you're over being upset, there will be people lining up for you. <laughs> you want to give me some names? Oh, oh, oh! Conditions can change without warning. I think you'll know. Bitch! Romance can make the heart pound. Just I did not hand. expect that! This is stupid. She's gonna hate this. What? Flowers? Girls love this crap. It's cliche. Cliches oh became cliches for a reason. God. It's great, isn't it? I think you when two should feel just so stay strongly in the room. for someone and it's, it's not just about the sex, it is. It's true. <laughs> Extemi and the candlelight is that. sending me chow. Well, you're all set here. I'm going to leave you to it. Ooh. Congratulations. Thanks. That is so much. And panic. Addison. Can make it stop cold in your chest. What happened? Addison. Addison, my girl. It's no wonder doctor spends so much time trying to keep the heart stable. To keep it slow, steady, regular. Stop the heart from pounding out of your chest, from the dread of something terrible, or the anticipation. Of something else entirely. What the fuck? He cleaned it all up that fast? What the hell did Addison call about? What happened? Oh my God, why do they have to do this to me? Why do they do this at the end? And then it may, it's like a cliffhanger and then it just makes my mind race because now I'm feeling anxious about it. And I only have two episodes that I'm allowed to watch this week because I have a full roster and now I wanna watch everything. I wanna binge it and I'm stressing out. And Arizona and Callie, what? And who was that lady with Owen? And what is happening with Bailey? She's going to be a pediatric surgeon now? And what is going on? I'm having anxiety. <laughs> My heart rate's going to go through the roof. I love this damn show. That, all, that episode was awesome. Can't wait for the next one. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Goodbye.